Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. It is Mail Call Time from Blade HQ. You guys can see the package already. It is a package from Wii Knife. Yep, I caved and I bought the Wii Knife Mini Buster by Snacks. And it's late at night right now. I'm just about to sleep. That's why you can see my hands are clean and no jewelry. But I received this in the mail just before dinner and I was like, you know what? I'm just too excited. I gotta open this package up and check out the Mini Buster because this is a knife that I've been waiting for ever since Snacks announced it. Because number one, I really believe in Wii's machining qualities. Every single Wii knife I've owned so far or Wii manufactured knife I own so far is something that I really, really enjoy. I believe that they found the perfect formula for detent strength and they've got really wonderful fit and finish very very well produced knives and then the next thing is of course the very cool looking buster design in a smaller version because the buster was actually quite large so yeah enough of me rambling about it let's check out what the packaging is like so it's a wee knife box that you can see here it is sealed on both sides and it says read the instructions before opening or using the knife inside on the side here it says 2003A mini buster grey tie handle yeah I went for the grey version not the black version polished bead blasted CPM 20 CV pretty good steel we've got some contact information here as well as the social media account here and on the other side it is basically the same thing and that is it very cool clean looking presentation now let's crack this thing open here we go wow okay this is quite cool I wasn't expecting all these extra freebies in here that's awesome. And the first comment I'm going to make is regarding this knife pouch here. I think that they've upgraded the knife pouch and they actually now have the Wii knife logo here. Because my previous Wii purchase didn't have a knife pouch like this. I think it was just a plain knife pouch. My memory may be failing me. And then in here, it looks like we have a cleaning cloth with the Wii knife logo here. Some silica gel in the sachet. We've got a couple of stickers. Wii knife Civivi. This is quite cool. I've never seen this. This is an owl with what looks like the Arrakis knife. And this here looks like a dragon and it's got a pretty awesome looking knife here i don't know which model this is but you could see it's both Wii and Civivi. So I'm going to put these two here because that's quite cool. And then we have the instructions here, right? The warning on the box said to read the instructions first. So instructions before use. Here we go. This is the mini buster. It's a lot smaller than I expected, but I got to say that it's the perfect size for me. And it's in a Wii branded plastic bag. And I'm going to just leave this right here like that. So yeah, just uh, the first glance at it, like that. This thing looks really good. It's really got the bee blasted finish. Very much like the finish on the Terra when I first received it. Of course, I still don't wash that. But this is quite reminiscent of the Terra, all the lines and everything. My goodness, look at that brush finish on the backspacer. That is cool. That's a very nice two-tone accent. Even here, oh wow. So okay, the entire flats here of the backspacer has that that hand rub satin finish. I, I don't know if it's hand rub, but yeah, it's a satin slash brushed finish. But then everything else, even this divot here, has the same kind of bee blasted finish as the rest of the scales. And we can see some lubricant here, some lubricant residue on the scale itself, but that is to be expected. It's got a very snacks aesthetics here, and I'm quite excited about this thing. This slot here and the window cut, and then the space, the negative space around the screw, that is so cool. Regarding the backspacer, it's got a lanyard slot right here as well. And you could see how close the blade is to the end or the back of the knife itself. See the blade tip there? Yeah, but it's not even touching my finger at all. So that's actually quite safe. I like that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that sleekness in design. I love that. I love the profile here, going up here and all the way around. My goodness, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm quite in awe in terms of the design. So... Let's just flip this open. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. That's Wii action right there for you. That's cool. So look at this Warncliffe blade. Wow, oh, the blade profile is so cool. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit greasy. Let's wipe it down a little bit. Excess lube come off. So on one side, we have the Wii knife logo. And on the other side, we have Snexus logo. And right here is the blade steel. I should flip it upside down so that you guys can actually see it. There, I think you guys can see it like that. CPM S20 CV. Ah, one thing interesting that it doesn't have is an over travel stop pin, which is a little bit different from other Wii Knife made knives, but there is a little pin here that seems to be the detent pin. So if we look closely, it doesn't look like a ceramic ball for the detent, but that's okay. I mean, if it works, it works, right? So let's, yeah, no lock stick. That's cool, right out of the box. But check out the lock up. 
it's not too bad not too bad at all no blade play and we didn't even check out the blade centering so i'm just going to close this up and yep that's the blade centering for you you know snacks just made it really easy for you to check it out that's so 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 awesome so on point oh wow that action is good it's it's really it's that wii action of course it's not as snappy as some other wii knife knives but this is good see how smooth that is guys this is stock out of the box you know can it drop oh yeah it can oh i'm thoroughly surprised okay that's really cool i'm gonna try to use my middle finger to oh almost got it let's try it again yep oh okay it hit the light so that's my fault yep just holding it a little bit too high let's try it in this angle instead there we go so opening it upside down with your middle finger is not going to be a problem this thing is flipping open pretty darn good now let's talk about the ergonomics so first impressions in a standard hammer grip it's quite good just to show it to you this way pretty good index finger here on the first slot and the rest of my fingers here yep that's good and I can kind of choke up a little bit because of this choil out here. It's not really a sharpening choil, is it? Because it's quite large. Choke up. And then my thumb just... Wow, that's cool. So the thumb just touches this bigger divot here on the spine of the blade. That's nice. That's really comfortable. If I pull it back and I reach my thumb out, I'm going to touch the jimping, see? And this slot as well. This slot here goes out and leads into the jimping right there. This is perfect. Oh my goodness, this is perfect. So my thumb isn't actually touching that notch right there if I hold the blade in the standard position. But if I choke up, then it's going to touch that divot there. And this is really comfortable as well. Oh, this is so awesome. Okay, so I'm bearing down on it right now. And I gotta say that the pocket clip is not biting at all. So I'm actually quite surprised. And you guys can see the amount of pressure I'm putting here. Because my fingers are all turning reddish now now i'm gonna flip it over into the reverse grip and it is quite comfortable as well so no qualms there at all even if i twist it a little bit more yep that's quite comfortable i gotta say i'm i'm i gotta tell you guys i'm not surprised it's kind of like what i was expecting from a snacks designed knife but this is actually a really cool form factor i like it very plain looking but yet it's very snacks ish and i'm actually quite a sucker for these kind of profiles it's just that i never actually reached out to purchase a knife in this kind of profile the first time that i saw it in this general profile was the pmp knives revenge and i was like wow that looks so cool but it was quite a large knife and i never really wanted to pull the trigger on that because i thought that it was a little bit expensive but this i gotta say this is actually 289 us dollars guys i actually hopped on the pre-order at blade hq so i put a five dollar deposit and the moment it arrived they immediately charged my card for it and shipped it out the downside to that i gotta say is that i wasn't included or i didn't get the chance to have any of those extra add-ons that they got like if you spend a certain amount then you get some kind of a freebie i didn't get any of those freebies but you know blade hq wonderful service anyway so yeah i was really stoked when i woke up in the morning and i saw an email from blade hq saying your order has been shipped and i was like what is going on and then it was the snacks mini buster so here it is the mini buster i i really like it first impressions on this is really really good and uh, going back to what i said i'm not surprised because it is a snacks design it is very comfortable and it is made by we knife so of course i'm not disappointed with the action as well now let's talk a little bit more about some other details starting with the pocket clip it is a 3d milled pocket clip so it is specific to this particular knife and it is not a deep carry pocket clip so you'll be seeing this much let's just use this you'll be seeing roughly this much of the knife sticking out of your pocket right and this is actually quite sharp to every downside there is also an upside and the upside is that your lanyard is going to hang nicely if you're going to put a lanyard onto this knife so that's yeah that's just to me looking for you know a, a positive for every negative right the next negative unfortunately is also to do with the pocket clip this is a non-reversible non-changeable pocket clip so it is only in one direction you notice there's no other slots everywhere else and i believe that that has to be something that you sacrifice on in terms of getting this kind of shape on knife design but yeah you know you don't have any slot for the pocket clip here on the show side so it is a right hand right side tip up carry only 
and uh, yeah although it doesn't bug me I know that some of you out there may not be too stoked on this so yeah G-Man I'm sorry it's got no lefty love even though I am a lefty but I'm very comfortable with this so uh, yeah you could see all the angular designs here that give it a really futuristic look as well as giving some depth to the design I also mentioned earlier that there is a two-tone theme going on on the backspacer and it's a full length backspacer I failed to mention that so it goes all the way up here very much like every other snacks design knife there is a little slot cut out here that could give it the illusion that this is a floating backspacer as well so that's quite a nice touch then on the lock side it is just basically the mirror image of whatever is on the show side with of course the lock bar cut out and that is it for the aesthetics and right now i gotta be honest and tell you guys that i don't know if all of these angled edges here or very angular edges here are going to be any hot spots because this is just a first impressions but right now i gotta say a lot of design nuances that i really like is like the way this whole thing flows so nicely here from the blade to this part of the scale or the bolster area especially here at the back here from where the drop point of the blade is this even called a drop point on a one cliff blade I, I don't know but yeah from where it goes down here into the handle i love that design nuance and in the open state with the blade deployed, this is completely flush. So you've got this swooping angle right up here. And then I love the fact that the finger choil goes into the flipper tab. But if you look at the flipper tab going upwards, it is in line with the handle as well. And then Snacks did mention that if you zoom in here, this particular notch here, where uh, I don't know what this is called, but that's basically where the grind ends on the blade part of the knife it's not following the scale here and he did that on purpose because design wise it kind of adds to this particular angle up here so it's like this angle here going down that curve and then this angle up here to give it more depth i think that's what he was going for and uh, yeah he chose that believing in his own design and i think it works really well something very different you know because most knives would feature this particular cut or this particular grind edge being parallel to the scale right there so this is really really cool kudos to snacks again and of course kudos to we for bringing this to life i think this is an awesome awesome knife definitely one that will stay in my collection for a long long time because yeah like i told you guys i'm a snacks fan for 289 dollars like i mentioned the fact that this was designed by snacks and it is a we produced knife that is totally in that price range it's not too expensive and it is not cheap but it's right there right smack on the dollar i believe value for money 289 we knife produced snacks design mini buster now before i end the video i'm going to give you guys a quick size comparison because everything else about the knife i'm going to put on the screen right now first of all let's compare this to a spider core para 3 there we go and next we are going to compare it to a benchmade mini grip so you guys know the mini grip and the para 3 are almost in the same length but you could see that the mini buster is longer than both of these knives here and while i have it out here i might as well just compare it to the kaiser feist sheep's foot warncliff but you could see the size difference let's get a spider Knox rambler sak yeah it's a small one and an sd classic just for the lulls there we go and that is the size comparison of the mini buster hope that gave you a little bit more insight and a better gauge of what exactly this is in terms of size right and that is it guys this is my first impressions of the wee knife mini buster flipper in gray designed by snacks i don't know if i'll do a review on this knife i just really wanted to get my first impressions out because i was waiting for this and i was really really excited to receive it in the mail and i really wanted to find out whether or not i think 289 dollars is worth this thing and i gotta say that so far based on my first impressions and of course after inspecting it for a little bit i am quite satisfied with this purchase and i've got to be honest with you guys right so there is another version of this it's in black and i think that it's got some worn look to it which is quite awesome but you know i'm quite a fan of just raw colored titanium itself so that's why i picked this version but if you guys are interested i will put links in the description box down below i think i'll link you guys to blade hq yeah because that's where i usually procure my knives right and of course i'll put we knife and i'll put snexus instagram links down there as well if you guys like the content that i'm putting out and you want to see more please consider subscribing to the channel and if you do subscribe make sure that you hit the bell to be notified of any new uploads that i put out also i run a patreon page i'll put a link up here to that in case you want to go check it out and if you do become a patron of mine thank you so much in advance it really means a lot to me and that is it everyone once again this is the we knife mini buster i know i've said it a ton of times but this was designed by the one and only snacks 
who in my opinion is a <laughs> just a pure genius. All the little nuances in this seemingly, well I guess to some people seemingly plain looking knife. Thank you for watching again everyone, I'll catch all of you in the next slice of my life. Until then everyone, gaga, boost.